Now I know. Most atheists are going to laugh about the video I'm about to show you. But I'm still going to show it with the hope that out of all of them that do scoff, a few of them might actually come to their senses and realize that evidence like this does prove there is a creator God. Because the common sense question has to be, if there is no God, please explain who it was that gave the intelligence to the single living cell so it would do as it needs to do in the inner ear of a zebrafish. Check this out. Right there, that's the actual living cell moving around. Towards the end of the video, it's actually going to show the path it followed. But still, many are going to scoff even after seeing such a video because in today's world, Christianity has been so watered down by the false prophets and pastors the last 2,000 years that the church no longer has the peculiar people they once had. The light of the Lord in God's people has grown so dim that it is rare to hear about the sick being healed or demons being cast out and prayers being answered in every aspect of life. Worse yet, the sinful churchianity of the prosperity preacher tainers of today has caused most Christians to embrace sin like everyone else, just as prophecy predicted they would. And as planned by the dying God of this world, the scoffers and the atheists base their strange theories on the fruits of those same lukewarm Christians so as to further wallow in doubt. Furthermore, because it's the end of days, all these false Christians have no clue as to the prophetic word of God that helps to ready a people for the coming of the Lord. And so more and more souls never hear present truth, which means they too are cultivated into the camp of the non-believer. But there is a God in heaven. And for those with eyes that see, we do see his hand move everywhere just as easily as some of you just saw in that video clip. As prophesied, even in these last days wherein decadence abounds, there are still a few real Christians out there that do have Christ-like fruit, who have seen God's hand move in amazing ways, who also understand his prophetic word so as to warn everyone they can that he is soon to come. Because the basic biblical reality is the only way to understand Christian prophecy is to be obedient to the God that wrote it. And with all that being said, with all the evidence in Christian prophecy that has already been matched to historic record in modern times alone, proving that the God of the Bible is doing all he can to reach and ready a people for his coming, it has now become painfully obvious to many that it actually takes more faith to be an atheist in today's world than it does to be a real Christian because the obedient bride of Christ has a mountain of easy-to-reference facts of faith they can use to share with the lost in the hopes of bringing them into the truth. But the atheist not only has none, he has to ignore the mountain of truth presented by those same obedient Christians. Thank you for watching. God bless.